Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will learn how to automate email handling such as creating a flow that retrieves and processes emails. If you search for email, there are three types of email actions. One is we are using IMAP server. Two, we are using the exchange. And lastly, we are using the Outlook. For this exercise, I'll be using the IMAP server. Okay, so let's try to create an exercise where we read email message that contains the subject of test power automate. Download all the PDF attachment and store it in desktop test power automate current date time folder. Extract text from PDF and write it to a text file using the same attachment file name and we change the extension to .txt. And lastly, we move the mail to the completed folder. Okay, and so let me show you how the email looks like. So I have a test power automate folder here and I send an email to myself and I attach a Contoso PDF invoice form. And I also have a subfolder completed. Okay, and then now, the first step what I need to do is I use retrieve email message and I need to get this IMAP server. But in this case, I, I'm not sure what is my email uh, IMAP server, right? So I can, if I'm using Gmail, I can Google Gmail IMAP ser server settings. And then if I go to step two, they list down all the configuration for me. So I uh, let me copy this and then I paste it here and I need to enable SSL. I need to enter my credentials as well. And under email filter, I want to retrieve email only from test power automate folder. And I want to filter the subject that only contains test power automate. And I want to save the attachment as well. They prompt me where to save the file. Okay, so let's do this step. First, I want to get the current date time. And I select system time zone and I want to convert the date time to text. Okay, I want to convert this current date time to a sortable date time. But over here, it has a colon. Uh, as for a folder here, we are not allowed to create a folder that has a special characters, right? So what we can do is after we uh, convert this, we would like to use a replace text. So I replace the text that I want to pass is formatted date time. Text to find is the colon. And I replace with an empty string. And I want to rename this as formatted date time. And I click save. Now, let's create the download path. First, I want to get the desktop folder path. And I rename this as desktop folder path. After that, I want to manipulate this variable and name it as download folder path. Selecting desktop for the path plus text test power automate and the formatted date time okay and then we also need to create a folder if it's not exist right if folder does not exist Then we create 
folder and I don't need this variable I click save now if I go to retrieve email messages under email filters I change this to download folder path and then the variable produce will be retrieve email and I click save okay I would like to save first just in case okay so now for each email that I retrieve and I want to name this as current mail for each email I may have multiple attachment so I need to get the list of attachment I create a variable here and name it as attachment list if I look for current mail I have this option the attachment which it will give a list of files and I click select click save and then now for each of the attachment I want to name it as current attachment I want to get the file name right and I give file name so to get the file name I basically need to select current attachment expand it and choose dot name without extension why because we want to rename the attachment extension to dot txt file okay so over here i'll click on it again name without extension click save okay now i want to extract text from pdf i will select current attachment and I read all the pages and a variable produce as extracted PDF text once done I want to write this to a text file I want to save it at my download folder path okay plus the file name so I put a slash and file name dot txt next the text that I want to write is extracted PDF text and I click save now after we process each of the attachment you would like to move the email right so for moving email we are using process email messages then I will select current mail I want to move email messages to a mail folder but in this case uh, we have a subfolder of computer right so you are required to change the value by putting it A backslash okay and then you click no before that you also need to identify your IMAP server your username and password
click save okay and then let's test this out so i have i don't have anything in my completed folder let me check my folder here let me delete this test power automate and then let me run this flow all right so over here path test power automate does not exist okay so i shouldn't delete this folder let's create it again and then i run it okay it's done now let me go back to my gmail and if i refresh this it's moved to my computer folder if i go back here nothing left and if i go back to my desktop folder test power automate i have this folder name and i have my attachment here and also the text that i've generated okay so that's all for this exercise so if you're keen to learn more do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on microsoft power automate desktop thank you